We are back on live. How you doing, everybody? Nice to see you here. Welcome to uh, Stock Markets with Bruce. I'm your buddy, Uncle Bruce. It's the last hour of trading uh, of this crazy day. Uh, you tell me it's going up or down. I don't know. Uh, the Dow is negative now. It was positive. It was negative. But I mean, uh, 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 S and P, Nasdaq, same thing. It's it's goofy. It's wacky. Tons of fun. Um, we're doing the best we can with what we have. And uh, I'll tell you, uh, Dow's down six points and, and now it's down 30. I mean, just like that. Six, 30. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, S&P up seven and a half. NASDAQ up 30. Just, just we're all over the place. Uh, oil is up $1.18. And uh, I don't know what to make of it. I, uh, I, uh, I, think, I think what it is, is uh, if I had to guess, it's uh, program trading. I think what we have is a lot of speculation going on about uh, where your money should go uh, to um, take advantage of what's coming uh, what and what is coming. Well, earnings are coming and uh, there are probably a lot of um, str str strategy people out there, a lot of strategists, analysts um, and, and, and others, managers who are trying to figure out, well, should we be into value stocks or should we be into growth stocks? Should we be into the high growth fang type uh, tech sector or should we be in the uh, very, very conservative and, and beaten up uh, financial area that's really hasn't performed yet should we be into real estate should we be into um manufacturing uh, distribution i mean where 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 what what <clears throat> and of course uh, your guess is as good as mine on that one too um but i will say this uh, i'm going to keep going with with a lot a lot of analysts have said and, and a lot of uh, you know really smart people out there have said there's a ton of money out there. There's a ton of cash out there. And um, cash is looking for a place to go. Uh, you can tell when there's a lot of cash out there uh, when companies like um, the cruise lines can just borrow hundreds of millions of dollars at a time. They can borrow 500 million, a billion. They can just grab, they can grab unthinkable amounts of money and just uh, refinance existing debt not to buy new ships, not to become a more profitable company, not to you know become a build a new terminal and so and so. No, they're just borrowing a whole bunch of money to stay alive and they're getting it and they're getting it at four, five, six percent when have you ever have you ever gone to a banker to try to get a loan when you really need money? <laughs> First of all, can, can you borrow money when you really need money? Um, and what kind of interest rate have you been offered? Or have you ever gone to one of those, uh, you know, paycheck centers and uh, tried to borrow money there? Uh, they'll they'll lend you money. Oh, they'll lend you all kinds of money. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll we'll lend you money against your upcoming paychecks. No problem at all. Uh, you just take a look at those four, five, or six percent interest rates per day <laughs> for a week or whatever it is. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, we don't get those kinds of interest rates. Um, Obviously, uh, an outfit like Apple can borrow money at uh, 1% for 10 years to buy back stock uh, on the open market, not to build a new factory and make new iPhones, not to create a new product and grow their sales, just to buy back their stock because they have a whole bunch of cash overseas. They can buy a bunch of, borrow a bunch of cash here domestically, buy a bunch of stock back and de declare that as a cash write-off, a, a tax write-off expense and uh, buy back stock and make their investors richer create absolutely no jobs doing that really i mean it's just buying up stock and canceling certificates i mean who's what jobs are we talking about being created here um do people have a hard time selling apple to somebody else no you can always sell apple to somebody else there's always a buyer for apple stock I mean, so it's not like there's a liquidity problem but uh, there's there is a there is a cash problem out there and what is the cash problem tons of it too much of it looking for a place to go if there was a cash shortage situation in the entire economy i can tell you what the situation would look like right now we would have uh we would have uh 10 uh, percent prime rate we would have uh, uh eight to ten percent mortgages and we would have 12 to 15 percent car loans uh and personal loans would be uh, 16 to 20 percent if there's no uh no hard asset against it uh, that's what it would look like if there was a cash shortage right now uh, but there is no cash shortage right now there's money money everywhere as a matter of fact at the end of every evening <clears throat> the end of every day banks in the united states uh, send money back to the federal reserve and park it overnight in the uh, overnight window and get paid interest on their money until the next morning when they take it back out and try to lend it again and they can't seem to lend all the money they have on deposit that's too much cash <laughs> 
And we're not talking about $5 million too much cash or $28 million of too much cash or $150 million of too much. We're talking trillions of dollars of too much cash that can't be put into the economy every day that the Fed would like to be have in the economy. That's what's going on. And so these stocks, these markets will go higher. It's just a question of who will be the leader of these market runs. That's really the only question we have right now. It's not like the companies aren't making money and they're not going to make money. Of course, they're going to make money. They're, they're making all kinds of money. They're going to keep making a lot more money. The question is, who's the leader going to be? Is it going to be Apple, Microsoft, Google, Someday, is it going to be General Electric, Ford? Is it going to be GM? Is it going to be American Airlines? Is it going to be Boeing? Is it going to be, who's going to be the leader? Now, I can tell you right now, it's not going to be Boeing. It's not going to be American Airlines. Not right now. Uh, down the road, maybe. But in the next uh, three months, six months, nine months, the question is, is the will the leaders who've been leading the uh, the earnings parade, keep the will, will they keep being the leaders? Or are bankers, banks, really coming on right now with earnings uh, investment bankers in, in, in wall street are these guys going to keep on keeping on and become the leading sector of the economy is it is, is that where it's headed and that could be a shift away from high growth technology or, or, or software or hardware whatever there might be a shift we'll wait and see inflation will have its have its say in the economy as will high interest or higher interest rates uh, well, we'll find out. Okay, welcome to the uh, welcome to the afternoon rant. It's nice to have you here. We're down forty eight now on the Dow. Okay, we're up six on S and P, and we're up twenty seven on Nasdaq. This is what's going on right here, right now, uh, with this uh, with this wacky market. And did you see my uh, poll question here? I got a poll question up right now. It's very complicated. It's very in depth. I need you guys to think long and hard before you answer this poll question because you know the future of everything is at stake here. The question is, um, Uncle Bruce is a great guy, but I believe him, but I don't trust him. Or I trust him, but I don't believe him. Now, you got to decide which way to go on this poll question. This is not just for the faint of heart. Uh, I, could, I could give you an easy question like, you know, uh, blue is my favorite color, yes or no. You know, I could give you that. Uh, I could ask you, um, you know, uh, the sky should be green, the sky should be pink shoes no 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 i'm giving you something to really think about long and hard you guys decide for yourselves and let me know right now um it seems that 56 percent of respondents to this poll are saying um uncle bruce is a great guy but uh, i believe him but i don't trust him 54 percent uh 46 percent of you say no i trust him but i don't believe him. so you guys you guys fill that poll in. this will help me a lot with my future endeavors and my and you know what I what what's going to happen here with this channel? I, I really appreciate you guys you know working it out. Uh, Anti PC, you are the you are the first one. You are the first one to say it, and to see it, and to mention it. Yeah, you misspelled believe in the second question. In the second, you said that's right. I did. I was in such a hurry to get that thing out because I had to get ready to go on here uh, that I I ignored the uh, spell check thing and. Uh, published a, a, a word with a spelling error. Well, good eye. Good eye. Well done. All right. Thank you. Uh, there you go. Um, fabulous. We know blue's your favorite, says Donald, uh, yeah, David. Just, to, you know, nothing personal. It's, it's just business. It's, 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 you know, it's, a, it's, it's nothing, it's nothing personal. It's, it's just business. You know, that, that, that's all it is. Yeah. It's nothing personal. With the broken jaw and all that i love the godfather what are you gonna do uh anyway there you have it um look uh, uncle bruce goldman is down sharply earnings announcement next week is this a buy opportunity i i think so um goldman sachs uh is right now at 389 a share of 389.16 off 13.89 anyone who's written call options on goldman in the last week or two has got to be smiling ear to ear because those contracts have dropped off and you've got some profits you can cash in on um now those of you out there who've been thinking oh boy you know i love when bruce talks about writing options and he talks about writing poor man covered call options as a strategy and he keeps talking about this goldman sachs and is trading at four point six point four times earnings uh, you know if it ever would come down if it would just come down a little bit I, I i could get a deal on these things well maybe the deal has arrived maybe the time is right to go out shopping for a deep in the money call option that you can use as your 
option to write options against um, or an option to write an option against. You buy one, you can write one option. You buy two, you can write two options and so on. Uh, maybe now is the time to shop for 350, 340, 330 uh, Goldman Sachs call options. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, however many you can afford, whatever you want to do. Pick up some longs at a good price. <coughs> Make sure that the, that very that ninety percent rule is observed if you can. Try to try to stay to that ninety percent rule. That ninety percent of the purchase price you make for a call option that's in the money is book value, and only ten percent or less of the cost of that contract is time premium. Because remember, every month that goes by, time premium will evaporate and you are earning money on short-term calls that's the hope you don't want to just earn a bunch of money on short-term calls to cover the loss of time premium that's not the point you want to exceed that so you want to keep this time premium losses uh, or exposure to a minimum and so look for four months six month eight month ten whatever uh, far out you can get the longer the length of the contract and the deeper in the money it goes you have a scenario where theoretically you could say buy a, a 10 month in the money contract, 10 months left to live and only carry it for three months and then dump it and buy another one that's 10 months out again. And now you only have time depreciation for those first 90 days, not the last 90 where you suffer most of it. Okay, so keep that time depreciation at a minimal amount and see what you can do. 388 on the stock down $14 a share. Bargoon time, uh, because I don't anticipate Goldman Sachs to have a bad quarter. Uh, not anticipating bad times. Um, higher interest rates this year? Uh, good news for Goldman Sachs. Um, question is, how busy will we be this year? How busy will we be this year in 2022 regarding um, uh, deals, uh, mergers, acquisitions, SPACs, uh, financing, secondaries? all the business that Goldman is into, and they're into a lot of stuff. So uh, yeah, let's see what this does. But I think this is a bargoon here because it's 6.4 times earnings is where it's trading at, and I don't see earnings going down necessarily on this company. No, I don't think so. There you are. Um, fun times. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, thank you all for being here and hanging out with me today. I appreciate this. Uh, members, all, all of you are members of the channel, of course. You're typing away. Uh, if you're a, a regular member or a gold member, you're able to uh, let us know how you're doing. Kent, way to go. Kent's having a good day today. Um, and uh, Kareem wants to know that there's a lamp. The, the way the lamp is situated behind you and the way this lampshade tilts, is this a bearish indicator or a bullish indicator? I have to say in, in my own defense, what lamp are you talking about? There is no lamp behind me. There's just a green screen back here. There's some image of a bedroom or something to give you the illusion that I'm in Palm Desert, California, or am I really in Paris? I mean, do you think maybe I might be in Paris and that actually is a an, an image that is the image outside of the condo I'm in right now and I've just taken a photo of the image and then I've printed it? And to give you the illusion that I'm not in Paris when I'm really in Paris, because that's a hint that maybe I'm in. Have you thought of that? I mean, you guys are into conspiracy theories. I mean, come on. It could be happening. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Ah, ah, yes. Um, okay. Splair is saying, I think I believe you, but there are some humans that make it hard to trust each other. Most of these psychological problems happen when you don't find your right Jenner, Bruce. There you go. Good, good comb. The, the, the lamp looks bearish, uh, says David. What lamp? I know what you're talking about. Um, a num I'm thumbs up number 78, says Zach. Uh, Bruce, I keep remembering you always want us to let us know, to let you know what thumbs up number are we. Zach is thumbs up number 78. I thank you, buddy, for that. A double digit thumb upper. I love it. Um, I'm just checking in now. It's back to work. Got to earn some money to make up for this spire dip. <laughs> See, we are always busy doing something. I don't know. Let's take a look at our favorites, uh, stocks that we talk about here all the time. See what's going on. The Dow is down 16.9 now. Tell me where it's going. Uh, S&P is up 9.9. .9. NASDAQ is up 36. Oil's up a buck 35. Oil's been up all day, and that's consistent. Okay. Maybe it's overpriced, but it's consistently been overpriced all day. Uh, but the Dow's been up and down and up and down. Positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. S&P kind of positive, kind of negative. 
and Nasdaq's just kind of going. I don't know what you guys are doing. I'll, I'll do what I'll, I'll just kind of go with you. Rocket Lab. We are following Rocket Lab. We always follow Rocket Lab. Former SPAC. Uh, Eleven fifty today is where it's trading at right now. Uh, up sixty four cents. Now, Rocket Lab got uh, upgraded today or got initiated, initiating coverage from uh, Morgan Stanley. Overweight is the rating, uh, giving it an overweight, and they're saying uh, they believe it can reach $17 a share. Uh, I can tell you that that is not new territory. We've been through that price before, and so this is just kind of coming back to the good old days, like three, four months ago. Um, one analyst said that's a 57% upside call on the stock. Yeah, yes, it would be from yesterday's close. It would be. So it's up 62 cents at 11.48. The volume today, uh, 2.9 million. The low is 11.20. That was around 11 this morning. And the high of, of 11.74. That might have been right off the opening this morning, just zzz, right away. Um, but uh, we bounced off that low at 11 o'clock today to now come back to this 11.49, 11.50 neighborhood, holding the gain nicely all day long, despite this market completely not knowing what it's really going to do. SoFi, we love the SoFi. Um, 13.94, 13.95 is where we are trading at right here, almost unchanged, like up a penny, like. Yeah, uh, volume, 21.5 million. That's light. Uh, that is not heavy. Uh, 50 million would be, uh, you know, good volume. 70 million would be heavy. 30, 35 is kind of normal. I don't know if we're going to make even 35, 35 million uh, with only 21 now. Um, 43 minutes to go. Not sure. Uh, the low was at 11 o'clock, uh, 13.75. Uh, 20 cents lower than where we are now. The high, 14.42, uh, the opening within minutes so we really haven't had that much of a range it's you know 70 cents or something like that we'll give it that a uh, 21 million it's not a not a crazy day today uh gamestop uh we're watching that as always um the low 126.46 the high 131.32 this is a nothing burger today we got a nothing burger going on here uh no toppings whatsoever we don't even have meat in the bun we got a bun with nothing in it that's a nothing burger 126.40 for the low, 131.32 for the high, five dollar range. I mean, hey, uh, isn't there a rule somewhere that says GameStop has to have a twenty dollar high low range every day? Isn't there? I thought so. I thought there's a bylaw somewhere. Anyway, we're at 128.57 down 173. Mm, uh, it's a nothing burger. 1.3 million volume, no volume. Uh, so we're very quiet today. Matterport. Um, Man, oh man, I, I wish I could tell you what Matterport would do day to day, but I cannot. Um, there are people out there who are convinced, absolutely certain, that this stock is going to crater dramatically. The fact that it's gone from 37 at the, which is its all time high, to 15 isn't enough. Uh, it's going to crater even more because they're going to allow shares to become free trading from insiders. And it, this is the death knell of any new company, absolutely. Because you know how it is. These guys, they they uh, they work for a company for five years. They create it from scratch. They uh, they build a business up. They they uh, get it to the point where it's you know a high valuating kind of company. They 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 put together a a deal with a spac. They take over a spac. They put four hundred million bucks into their treasury or ballpark, maybe even more in this case, growing their business leaps and bounds. And the entire reason that this this management group, these five, 10 top people, the whole reason they're doing all this work and all these millions in legal fees and all the filing fees and all of the registration work they have to do and all the times they had to autograph their name against all kinds of potential liabilities and everything else. I mean, to take a company public is one heck of a commitment. The only reason they're doing this is so that when the time comes that they're allowed to sell some of their own personal stock, they're going to do it. They're going to sell off everything they've got, and they're going to screw everybody. They're going to say, the hell with all you investors out there, the hell with the stock exchange, the hell with the regulators. We took this company public, and the whole time we played nicey-nicey, and we said, oh, yeah, we're going to grow our company, and we're going to do this, and that. but that's not really what they're about. No, no. You know what they're really about? They're out there to screw every single one of you guys. They've been waiting for you to buy this stock and get into it so that the minute they can sell 10 or 15 percent of all the stock they have they're gonna dump it and drop it like a rock 
That's what some people say. I, I don't say that. I think what's going to happen here is that the stock is under some pressure right now. I don't think it's going to last very long. Uh, and I think if it's the longer it stays down here, the bigger a bargain this thing is. I think the stock can go back into the 20s. But you know what? You got to believe. And if you don't believe, don't believe. It's okay. You're allowed not to believe. It's all right. Uh, I say you buy $12.50 covered, uh, $12.50 calls that are in the money, way out into the fall. If you can go longer, even better. And once the shares reach that 20 range, 25 range, you're going to use those sh contracts as your poor man covered call contracts. And you're going to write calls against those calls. And you're going to make a really nice percentage on your money. Because I think you can buy 1250 calls on the stock for three, four, five bucks, three to five hundred dollars a piece. And when you start writing ca calls, um, uh, $25 calls on the stock, 2250s, 2750s, whatever they are, I think you're going to bring in two bucks a share. You, you'll easily net out a dollar, dollar and a half. And, and that's on a 300 to 500 dollar investment every month or so and you're gonna make some nice money on your money but you gotta believe and you better get a you better you better do some ab work uh, maybe some of you need to do sit-ups to toughen up your bellies because you're a little weak there like i am because i'm just mushy and cushy i like ice cream i can't help myself uh anyway that's what you got to do with matterport you, you gotta you gotta not let today get to you um it bugs the hell out of me that it's 124 lower right now 124 is the drop at 1515. I hate it. I can't stand it. I don't like it at all. But no one's asking me my opinion whether this is a good thing or not. It's just doing it on its own. 9 million volume today. 9 million. There's got to be a whole bunch of weenie babies out there. What was that? What was that word we're looking for? That uh, paper handed weenie babies. There's a whole bunch of paper handed weenie babies dumping this stock today. Uh, after it started at 1716 this morning, had an uptick right off the get go. It was a surging today in the pre market, looking great. And now it's down to $15.16. It's ridiculous. It's just absolutely ridiculous. But that's what we got going on, Matterport. ME, 23andMe. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. 578 now, the low of the day. Um, 1.89 million shares traded. What can I say? We opened up nicely at 618 a share. Uh, we were up on the morning, looking green, getting ready to sing Kumbaya on the campfire later. We're going to hold hands. Then we're going to do some weenie roasts and make some, you know, melted marshmallows on the stick and, oh, all kinds of good stuff. What's that stuff you can make with marshmallows and chocolate? Uh, you, you put it you put it together like a, isn't it, isn't a piece of chocolate, a marshmallow, and then another piece of chocolate on top, and you melt it on a campfire? What, what are those called? Those are, uh, what are those called? Uh, you'll tell me. I'll, I'll find it. Anyway, that, that would have been a great time, wouldn't it? Uh, but no, not 23 and me, not today. We're not doing it. We drop at 11 o'clock here to, uh, what is this, uh, 580 odd sh uh, share, 80, 90 share. Rally a little bit to the 602 level around 108, and then now we're down to 580 and uh, 1.89 million. I'm not a happy guy. I can imagine Richard Branson and all his pals and all kinds of folks who created this company are not happy either. I, I cannot imagine them being sm smiling today. Cannot see them smiling at all. If any of you are out there watching from 23andMe or if any of you out there are watching from Matterport or if any of you are watching from, uh, uh, you know, SoFi or Rocket Lab or any of these other companies we follow, and you'd like to be a guest on this show to tell the investors here, how things are going, would love, I'd love to have you. I would love, you just let me know. Drop me an email. You can always drop me an email. The link is down below. Uh, hey, I'd love to have you. Okay, uh, Spire Global, 276 a share. Oh, my God. Uh, yesterday, we thought we had won the lottery. Uh, the stock went to 313 on a shot. Um, it's now down 20 cents a share to 276. We traded 831,000 shares. Yesterday, almost 3 million shares. I mean, that was serious buying coming in yesterday. What happened to that guy? What happened to those guys, those people, those kids? Where, where did they go? I don't know what to make of it. We're at two, 273 for the low. We're at 275 right now. I am I am speechless. Absolutely, I have no idea. Um, I think, though, that we do know this. There was supposed to be a satellite launch today by a Virgin Orbit, and it got canceled, uh, delayed till tomorrow. So we're just waiting for it tomorrow. Is that a reason for this stock to do this? I obviously some that maybe people are using that as an excuse. I have no idea. ATIP, uh, physical therapy centers. Uh, man, oh man, oh man, are they ever going to find a CEO for that company? 
Uh, the low, 294. The high, 304. It's been in a 10 cent range today. So this is a nothing burger of trading going on here. There's nothing happening. We're off half a penny. Enough said. Uh, 449,000 shares. We'll leave it alone. Smart rent. Um, we're up seven cents on smart rent. Uh, these guys pulled off what I believe to be the perfect press release yesterday. Absolutely beautiful. Genius. Whoever was in charge of doing that yesterday deserves a raise, and you better make sure they're under contract and don't let them get stolen by anybody else because what that was was brilliant. The company pre-released and gave us a preview of their final for their latest quarter. Uh, rather than having us wait till March when they're supposed to release their full results, which they will, they gave us a preview yesterday, and it was beautiful. I love that they did that. Um, they're exceeding their numbers. Uh, they're growing their base. Uh, they're growing their subscription counts. They're growing their clients. They took over another company, successful successful completion of a takeover. Everything is coming up sweet and beautiful. The Kumbaya will be sung around the campfire over there. The only thing the smart rent needs, the only thing smart rent needs now is awareness if only the world knew and could understand and could somehow possibly conceive the incredible upside that this company has because you folks who don't know what smart rent does and even those of you who do and a lot of you do know who watch me you know what they do you might overlook the fact that there's one little tiny thing one little tiny thingy here uh that you have to understand about smart rent uh, once you install smart rent into your home your condo your apartment either as an individual or as a property manager which most of these customers are full-blown property managers of hundreds if not thousands of units install smart rent systems into these units to then control the heat the air conditioning the window blinds when they go up when they go down measure for water pressure issues when there's water leakage uh, alert fire alarms security systems camera systems access to the parking garage access to the health club i mean the whole thing smart rent once you put it in there you never take it out this is the little thingy that uh, uh that the market does not fully get yet i get it i think you pretty well all get it maybe not all of you but you i hope now you get it unlike this you see this is a device of magical proportions and gazillions of us have these except for one flaw there's only one flaw that this thing has do you know what it is think about it what's what's the one flaw in this thing's existence they wear out they slow down and they become obsolete. Now, some people say, no, that's genius, Bruce. That's genius because it makes you buy another one. Yes, it does. Um, and as long as you do buy another one, it works out great. But you talk to the folks at BlackBerry who made the world's most sophisticated cell phone 15 years ago. And you talk to them about how they just shut off this week all black phones from operating they shut down their entire operating system why because they too had the same problem they had a device that you had to replace every two to three years and people stopped doing that with blackberry now with this device here with this company so far with this logo on it it seems to be working people will replace this unit with another one with this logo on it they won't change brands as long as this continues it's all good and it was all good at BlackBerry. And for a time, there were there were phones with other brand names on it that did well too. But they're all gone now. There's very few left. Here's what's here's the thing with smart rent. You install the smart rent system into the your into your apartment building, into your condo complex, into a timeshare unit that has 1,500 timeshare units, 2,000 timeshare units. Think about how, how huge some of these are. I'm inside a, uh, a golf course here in Palm Desert, California, behind gated everything. And we don't have smart rent in here, but there are 1,280 condos in here that were built in 1980, 84, 85, 86. They didn't have smart rent at that time. Someday, and it might be in the next year, two or three, it may well be that every one of these condos through the homeowners association 
they will decide to install a smart rent system in every one of the condos here in this California project. It doesn't matter if you're brand new or not. They'll install it. And all of a sudden, you have Wi-Fi, everything looked after. And as an owner of this condo that might only be here three months a year, five months a year, not that I am an owner, but if I were the owner of this condo, knowing that the smart rent system is in here monitoring and showing me on my phone how it's doing all the time, oh, that's good stuff. I can also turn on the camera in the living room or I can turn the camera on in the, on the uh, outside walkway in my garage. And I can see how my condo is doing from thousands of miles away. Once you install the smart rent system, you don't change it. Unlike a, uh, like a cell phone, you do change it. Or like a laptop computer, you do change it. Not smart rent. Once it's in there, you just modernize it. You modernize it. It's like a cable box that you just keep upgrading with software updates. And maybe every 10 years, you might change the unit on the wall one time. In the meantime, every month the money comes in. You never buy it. As the, as the owner of the building, you never own it. You never own the thing. You rent it. You are leasing it. You sign a two-year commitment, a one-year commitment, a five-year commitment, whatever the commitment is. Smart rent has got it going on. This is absolutely genius. And if you are a um, property manager and you're talking to your insurance company about installing a smart rent system into your building, and then you're seeking a, a quotation for insurance on your building, uh, water damage insurance, fire insurance, uh, burglary insurance, um, uh, you, you name it, insurance. Uh, with a smart rent system installed to monitor everything, your rates just dropped dramatically because you're going to catch that water leak within minutes of it happening, not days, minutes. You're going to catch uh, a faulty air conditioning system or a heating system not working properly. You're going to catch... Uh, all kinds of stuff through smart rent. It will alert you that you have an issue. The insurance cost will drop dramatically because the insurer is going to feel so much better knowing that this building is being monitored inside every unit 24-7 all the time. Yeah, and it's self-aware, smart. I, I think it's fantastic. Smart rent. Uh, the stock, 825. It was a SPAC at 10 bucks. This is at a discount of $1.75. This stock is trading at a discount of $1.75 from where it went public at, and they're sitting on $400 million in cash. Yeah. And their business is exploding. Yeah. And nobody knows about it, except 332 of you that are here with me right now. And that's it. And I can guarantee you that practically 300 of you don't have either any of it, or if you have it, you have this much. You don't have enough. But hey, I just I just tell you what in plain English what's going on. It's up 13 cents, 826, um, and they pre-released their numbers already. It's it's great. It's just great. Uh, the low 814, the high 870. That was the opening, and here we are at 826, up 13 cents. We've actually bounced up from the low of 814 in the last 35 minutes. Maybe because of me. Maybe because of my rent. Sextera is 11.40 a share, up 14 cents. Uh, we reached a high today of 11.50 a share. Um, keep in mind the all-time high is twelve seventy-nine, so that's a dollar twenty-nine away from the all-time high. Maybe we're coming on again. Maybe this is the beginning of a little move. One hundred thirty-one thousand volume. <laughs> Nothing trading there, baby. Those are uh, some of the favorites that we're following as to what's going on here. Um, the market right now down seven points on the Dow, seven point three points. S and P is up seven point six. We have NASDAQ up 24.8 points. That's what's going on on the big markets right now. Now, other stocks we're following quickly. Uh, let me run them down for you. AMC down 9 cents, 22.70. Robinhood down 15 cents. It was this morning on an uptick right away at 17.21, 16.26 right now on the stock. The low had been 16.06 around 11 o'clock this morning. Uh, Vanic Vectors up two bucks to three oh five. Uh, Home Depot up a dollar fifty eight to three hundred eighty eight dollars. IBM up thirty seven cents. We were negative today. We were down to one thirty one thirty seven. We're now one thirty three twenty four. Almost a two dollar comeback. Uh, looking a little better. Um, Dow Jones up uh, down eight points. Uh, Microsoft up two seventy a share. We were as high on Microsoft as three twenty three forty one. We are now at three seventeen. 68. We've given up not quite 
six dollars from the high of the day on microsoft 35 times 5 35.5 times earnings is what it's trading at those are about to be revised lower once we get the next quarter financials i'm pretty sure a big quarter is coming up yet again apple up 42 cents at 75.50 open this morning with a shot to 177.18 we've given up some ground here <clears throat> excuse me over on the tesla front uh we're up 45 dollars and 82 cents <clears throat> the stock is uh, make that 46 bucks 1110 dollars a share today on tesla i don't have a specific reason that i'm aware of uh, as to why it's doing what it's doing it's traded 24 million shares <clears throat> and uh, the low was 1072 about 10 20 minutes into the opening 1072 now we're at 1109 so $20, $37 above the low of the day, uh, gaining today. It's been up all day. <clears throat> uh, Bed Bath Beyond, boy, 1384 up 72 cents. BlackBerry down two cents to 918. Of course, BlackBerry now calls himself a software company, no longer a cell phone creator, but they had the hottest cell phone on the planet 15, 20 years ago. Not anymore. It's over. Um, <clears throat> what else we got going on here? A Royal Caribbean up 65 cents to 82.38. Why? I don't know. Goldman 389 down 13.30. Still a bargain here. Um, the low of the day, 388.56. And we're 389.75. May have bottomed out here. Uh, Cisco down 41 cents at 61.96. Stock has had a remarkably good run the last few months, uh, but we did top at 64. And now we're at 60, just around 62. Amazon down six bucks a share. Facebook, uh, Meta platforms, they call themselves now, down 260. And Google up $35 a share. Those are some of the uh, the key stocks that we're watching. American Airlines down 45 cents and Moderna down 68 cents on the day. Welcome to the final hour of trading with your buddy Uncle Bruce on Stock Markets with Bruce. Uh, we've got uh, 23 minutes to go. Uh, it's now uh, 337 and the Dow is down nine nine points. It was just down 16, now it's down nine. S&P down seven, uh, up seven, pardon me, and NASDAQ up 19. There it is. That's that's what's, that's what's the dealio. Um, Alberto, thank you for this donation. Um, uh, hey, Uncle, is this a trick poll? Uh, this poll question you asked us here, I, I ain't buying it. Uh, I'm your idiot nephew, you know. And I, even I, even I, as your idiot nephew, I'm not falling for this. Well, I'm just saying, uh, 212 people have voted now on this uh, poll question. <clears throat> the question is, uh, Uncle Bruce is a great guy, but um, I believe him, but I don't trust him. And the second option is, I trust him, but I don't believe him. And 53% say, um, I believe him, but I don't trust him. And 47% say, I trust him, but I don't believe him. So it's it's almost a soft, you know, like, oh, it just shifted again. Now 215 votes. 52% uh, say, I believe him, but I don't trust him. And 48% say, I trust him, but I don't believe him. So uh, back and forth we go here on this whole thingy. Um, you know, it, it, this is a deep, deep question. Uh, it, it sounds simple, but maybe not so easy to answer a question like that. I don't know. We'll see what's, uh, you know, we'll see what's going on here. Uh, any event, uh, there it is. Um, it's out there for you. Think about the, your question, your answer, and uh, and uh, ponder, and reflect, and then decide which way you want to go. Um, you know, used to be easy, but it's not that easy anymore. Um, thank you, Alberto, for this donation and 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 uh, your opinion on this uh, co a comment, a question. I, I appreciate it. It's okay. Anyway, there's uh, there it is. Okay, uh, what can I say? Um, well, okay, uh, 1.3 million on GameStop today. Yeah, not a lot, right? Not a lot. Um, and uh, let's see. Uh, 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 you know, I, I just voted to get it out of the way. I needed a third option, says Gonzo. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Um, um, those, th those, these new polls are like your new shiny toy, says Bobby. Um, <laughs> I just spit out my coffee, says Alberto. Uh, I feel the same uh, from Goyote, is it? Uh, break out the poll, uh, pie or cake? I mean, come on. Uh, Bruce, give us some real serious questions here. Give us some more intense questions. Uh, Goyote is loving it. Uh, what can I say? We, you know, we, we just, some days there are certain kind of questions and other days there are other kind of questions. Uh, <clears throat> life is full of questions. Uh, that's just it. What can I say? Uh, I don't know. I just don't know. 
Uh, okay, the Dow down 15, uh, S&P up 6, NASDAQ up 17, oil up a buck 40. That's where we're at. Uh, thank you, by the way, for the thumbs ups already. We have 135 now on the thumbs up meter. Uh, so we've broken into triple digits on the thumbs ups. Uh, it would be really nice if some of you could find a way to vote 20 times each and give me 10,000 thumbs ups today. I'd really appreciate that, but I won't hold you to it. Uh, but I think 10,000 10, would be a nice number. Look at that poll question. Oh, my gosh. It's coming down to the wire here. 226 votes are in. 51% uh, of you say, I believe him, but I don't trust him because uh, Uncle Bruce is a great guy. But And why trust him, but I don't believe him? 49%. Uh, this is a very close vote. This kind of feels like an election. This is exciting stuff. Uh, man, this is great. Um, all I need is a super PAC to fund me on this thing. This would be great. Uh, anyway, there you go. Everybody loves pie, says Nancy PC. Um, anyway, uh, my vote, never overestimate a man who underestimates himself. I trust him and believe him. There you go, Dr. G. <laughs> the credit savage, what, what poll? Uh, there, there are no polls like the lamp. They don't exist. Um, you know, there you go. Beach Boy, I'm number 161, buddy. Uh, thank you for that, guys. Uh, we're now at, uh, are we at really 161? I don't know. Let me refresh this whole thingy here. 181. We got 182 thumbs ups, actually. And 234 people have uh, responded to the question, the poll question. Uncle Bruce is a great guy, but 50% say, I believe him, but I don't trust him. And 50% say, I trust him, but I don't believe him. So, there is a, a there is a an election if you've ever seen one uh, in real life in real time. Uh, now the question is is it fake news? I, I you know I, it's up to you. You got to figure it out. You know I'm logging into my second account to give Bruce an additional thumbs up. Well, thank you, uh, Samuel. I appreciate that. If every one of you could do that, I'd go right to 360 thumbs up. So it would be double. It would just be double. Uh, you know no, that would be kind of nice. I uh, just took my gains from the last two weeks and I bought Matterport today. I got almost 100 shiny new shares to play with. Yay, Alberto. Uh, my problem is I believe and trust you. That's there's, there's the problem. Um, uh, who the heck is Uncle Bruce? And see, there's another problem. Uh, Nick, uh, I'm number 182, and uh, I'm here for you, buddy. Uh, thank you, uh, Nick, for, for dropping in and being around. Love that you're here. Uh, oh, we have a shift here on the poll. The poll is shifting again. Um, the stock market is with Bruce. Uncle Bruce is a great guy, but I believe him but I don't trust them, 51% support. I trust them, but I don't believe them, 49% support. Uh, 241 respondents now. They're coming in like crazy here, and this is a nail-biter of a, of, a, uh, of a poll question, and I had no idea it would get to this. I thought it would be an easy uh, one way or the other. I thought it would go 90-10, but uh, it's going 50-50 here right across here. This is amazing, 336 people watching. And uh, 242 votes in, uh, 51 to 49. Uh, oh, no, 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 50-50. I thought it would be 90-10 for sure. Um, but it's it's a 50-50 thing here. Oh, yeah, boy, am I, miss, am I a terrible poll prognosticator? I'm, I'm obviously really bad on that. Unbelievable. Thank you all for, uh, you know, trying to help me out here. Uh, we were just trying to figure what's going on. Um, uh, Red is saying pecans are expensive. We have deep thoughts going on here. A frumbler, I believe in trust in Bruce. I just want it to happen already. Uh, Auntie, uh, they are, she says, they're expensive. Uh, Chase or Rosita Parker, I'm thumbs up number 194, just so you know. Um, and I thank you, uh, Chase, for being here at number 194. Uh, we're going for 200 thumbs ups now. Uh, FX, um, hey, are the Democrats running this poll? I, I have no idea. Um, Dr. G, this choice is like when my wife asks, do I look fat in this dress? Uh, uh, Pucans, uh, Mirko, hey, Uncle Bruce, I sold a poor man covered call on Goldman Sachs uh, strike 395 uh, uh, for January 21 next week. I sold it for 726 uh, when I wrote it. It's now at 545 to 565 right now. Uh, would you buy it back now or wait? Uh, stink offer at 478. I'm not sure I can get 50% on this one though. I don't know if I'm going to get this 478. Well, let's take a look at this Goldman Sachs right now. Where is it at at this moment? Uh, we're now looking at uh, 1380, uh, 389. There we are, 38986. <clears throat> the low of 38856. So you've had a $1.30 lower dip already. Um, you're out of the money on this Goldman Sachs uh, uh, call. By what six, uh, you know, almost six dollars. Well, you know, definitely five dollars and 
73 cents, you're out of the money. But here's the catch, here's the, the dilemma. We have bank earnings being reported on Friday by um, a couple of the banks and, and by Goldman in six days, they come up with their numbers. So you will not be out of time by the time the earnings come out. So you are vulnerable to a possibility that the rumor mill is going to start and that there's some really incredible earnings coming out and the stock might take a shot. Now, I got to admit, I thought this morning when the stock was around 395, 398, you know, before the big drop off here, I already thought that was the low. I figured this isn't going to drop very much because the street is talking good numbers. But here we are, 389.97. I mean, <clears throat> blowing me out of the water, uh, throwing, showing me what I know. Uh, so... Mirko, you have a situation here where you're you're making money, and you gotta love this. Um, you may want to just buy this call back, call it a day, and say, you know what? Maybe this thing will go back up tomorrow to four hundred four hundred or four hundred five, or maybe the day after tomorrow it'll go up to four ten fifty, and then you'll write a four twenty or a four twenty five or a four thirty, either for the twenty first or the twenty eighth, and you're back in the game. So. Something wrong with taking money today? No, nothing wrong with taking money today. So maybe that's what you want to do. Just, you know, might not be a bad move. I'm glad you asked. Um, let's see here. Uh, what else? Uh, I want to recount. I'm sure there are a few hanging chads on this poll question. Andy says pecan is my favorite pie. I mailed in my poll answer, Bruce. You wait in for the you wait for the mail and then you'll know. I trust you, Bruce, if that's your real name. Uh, I made a Kahlua chocolate pecan pie for Christmas. I made the Kahlua too. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um, here's a sneak knee, knee attack coming in here. Joe N. Goldman Sachs could have some strong days ahead. Earnings on Tuesday. Take the profits. Rewrite, says Joe. Uh, Dan, Uncle Bruce, why ATIP is stuck? Why? 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 Uh, you know, I wish I could tell you. I wish I had the answer. If I had the answer, I wouldn't be here. I'd be rich somewhere. Um, i tell you right now. 294 on that stock. Spire, 277. ME down 28 to 581. Matterport down 131 to 1508. Uh, GameStop down 203 to 128.27. SoFi down six, and Rocket Lab is up 58 cents. Smart Rent up nine cents to 8.22. Not enough in my opinion. Sextera is up 21 cents to 11.47. Um, what can I say? Uh, what else is going on? Um, that's a great question to e to email the CEO of ATIP. That would be a good question. Mirko, thanks a lot. Uh, you got it. KY laughing out loud. Uh, Red. Um, ATIP is waiting for me to be able to buy it again without uh, being a wash sale. That's what they're waiting for. It's waiting for me to be able to buy it back. I asked their new CEO. I asked their new CEO. Uh, says uh, Larry Titus. Uh, said Red Red Solo Cup. I, I'll ask him. Maybe he'll know the answer why why it's sitting down there. I don't know, man. I just do not know the answer. Where are we at on the doubt? We're up thirty one points. You tell me where it's going to go today. Are we in the positive or in the negative today? We have twelve minutes left. Uh, S&P up 12, NASDAQ up 41, oil up 134, and uh, we're watching a market that is just gyrating between plus and minus. A red print, a green print, a red, green, red, what's it going to do? Uh, now we're up only 23. You tell me. Um, Rico, this is a great poll question, and I appreciate you asking uh, but let me tell you about when I was a boy in Bulgaria. Okay, well, there you go. Thank you very much. Uh, Gregory Davis, um, Palm Desert, huh? I trust you, but I don't believe you, Bruce. I, I tell you right now. Mark Gibson, Bruce, I'm happy with the, I'm happy the SPACs are down. My plan is to get 1,000 shares of each one of these guys. So far, I have 1,000 shares of SoFi, Matterport, Spire, ATIP. I have started selling covered calls on Matterport and SoFi. There you go. There you go. Josh, you got to be brucing me. Um, can we get some green here, please? Um, Kent uh, B, um, Uncle B, uh, made some really nice money on the calls these past two weeks uh, on GameStop and, 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 and Goldman Sachs. Thank you so much. I'm holding off writing again on these. You know I'm very conservative with my trades. Thank you. Right on, Kent. You're doing it right. You're doing it right. Bobby, um, uh, it, 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 SoFi is going to flip-flop at the 14 mark. Then I will try this day trading stuff on the new 10 shares. I'll, I'll try this day trading stuff. Uh, Larry, pokes it with a stick. Do something. Uh, Red, ha, I love the poll on this channel. Uh, thank you, Red Solo. I appreciate that. How are we doing on that poll question now? Uh, it's a close one. We have 259 respondents now uh, to the poll question. The poll question is simply this. Uncle Bruce is a great guy, but... I believe him 
but I don't trust him. I trust him, but I don't believe him. Those are your two questions on today's poll question. And at the moment, it's a dead heat. We've got a 50% going answer on each one of these. I thought for sure it was going to be 90 to 10, 90%, 10%, one way. Uh, I'm not telling you which way, though. I thought it was going to be, but it's not. It's a 50-50 response. And uh, I'll tell you, it is creating quite the stir on this channel. Uh, what can I say? Uh, 337 of you are here. I appreciate all of you being here. And thank you for handing out thumbs ups today. If you can do that, hit that poll question. Answer that poll question. Samuel, I don't believe in Santa, but it, it, if it, he were real, I trust him. Is it the same kind of thing with Uncle Bruce? Uh, credit Savage, Uncle Bruce, I trust you, man. But when I listen to you, I make money. And when I go rogue, I lost tons of money. It's not as difficult a question for me. <laughs> Joe, uh, and ATIP needs a new poli uh, chief people officer. Uh, there is really no one on the bridge over there. Uh, Nicholas. Um, holding 1,000 shares of SoFi, looking to add, this thing is going to 45 bucks real soon. It's going to go. British shilling. Bruce can't even spell believe on the second one. So there's no way I'm going to trust this guy. And you're the second person to mention the spelling error. Anti-PC was way ahead on this one. Bruce, do you think it's possible that Rocket Lab could take over Spire or BKSY when they're down this low? Do you think uh, that they could take them over? Um, anyone can take over anybody. For whatever reason, it all depends on whether there's a a, 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 a consensus among the board of directors on each side. Um, is there a willingness of management to make something happen? Yeah, anything could happen. I think the lower Spire goes and the lower ATIP goes, the more of a takeover target they are. Because the acquisition price, even at double this price, is cheap, right? So, you know, if, if a, uh, a a corporation come, came along, an entity came along and Offered ATIP shareholders six fifty in cash. Uh, whether management takes that deal or not, it goes to the vote. It goes to a vote for for shareholders. They decide whether or not they want to do it. You know, I, that's what I'm wondering. What about Spire? What if someone coming around and said Spire will offer you uh, eight bucks a share, cash to take a walk? Would you take it? Uh, a lot of you out there would be in pretty good shape all of a sudden at eight bucks a share on Spire, wouldn't you? Uh, management Aspire all of a sudden has lost your vote. They have they you don't you're not going to support them anymore. You're going to say take let's take the deal, and move, move on because these guys can't move this market. Yeah, you never know. Um, you know Dan is saying I believe you and I trust you. There you go, Michelle. Uh, I took the poor man's covered calls class last night. I'm sure glad that I have the ability to watch it more than once. I thought I had a handle on it before yesterday. There you go. Uh, the only way so far goes to 45 is if I sell it. Says uh, Austin. Uh, thumbs says Kent. Uh, thumbs. Um, Alberto, I trust all folks five foot six or less. So Tio, you are beyond trustworthy. I mean, you at four foot eight inches tall, Bruce. You are the guy to trust at that height. You got. I got to trust a guy like that. Uh, yeah, says Auntie. Bobby, I can walk you through that if you if you want. Says Austin. A British, I just got here. Busy old day today. Well done, Auntie PC. Wouldn't expect any less. Bobby, uh, anything to get that ball rolling? Uh, Auntie, I would love it if Rocket Lab took over Spire or or BKS Square. Can you imagine how many shares of Rocket Lab I would have? Woo hoo hoo! Auntie, about a million. Uh, Auntie, British shilling. Uh, thank you, darling. Nicholas, uh, do Hobbits count? I don't know if they count or not. Do they add? Do they to subtract? And can they spell? I have no idea. Uh, I can't. I can't answer these questions. These are deep. Way deeper than I'm up to handle, able to handle. Dow is up 85 points now. Is it, is this enough with uh, six minutes to go? Is this enough to hold it up? Or will it all give it all back in the last six minutes? Uh, we're up 18 on S&P. We're up 52 on NASDAQ. Now 49 on NASDAQ. Will the Dow hold again or won't it? I don't know. Um, yeah. Short people got no reason. Uh, might need a welfare check on Mike. Uh, Red is laughing. Alberto, Nicholas, uh, yuck. Uh, Red Solo, I'm over six feet and I don't trust me either. There you go. We have, oh my gosh, we've got momentum going on this channel now. Oh, things are happening here. We have 280 votes in on the poll question. Uncle Bruce is a great guy, but I believe him and I don't trust him. 52% now. Well, I trust him, but I don't believe him. Only 48%. This, this is going. There's there's one trend happening here. Uh, I believe, but I don't trust them. Seems to be in the lead right now. Uh, coming into the last five minutes of the market, this is a serious move, a, mo a momentum move of gargantuan proportion. 
Oh my, Alberto's laughing out loud. Andy PC, uh, I just bought something, but I don't know what it was. Oh no, uh, Bobby Atkinson, six feet only on tender. Uh, there you go. Uh, Michael, there is no Mike, only Zool. There is no, there's only Zool. Uh, there. Joanne, I only trust Canadian expatriates with tidy lampshades. That was the only ones I trust. The homeless Canadian expats renting Teslas in Palm Desert. I don't trust anybody else. There you go. Uh, we are up 84 points on the Dow. Oh, man. Uh, five minutes to go. A 17-point gain on S&P, 43 on NASDAQ. Oh, my, 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 my. Look at this market. What is going to happen? Oh, Andy's laughing at Mike. Uh, Shedder, uh, SoFi going up tomorrow. That's what's going to happen. It's going up more. 1386 today, down seven cents. Stan, uh, it it's, is a butterfly spread on GameStop a good idea <clears throat> right now? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure if I can give you an opinion on that right now. I don't know. 128.10 on uh, on GameStop <clears throat> right now. Um, it sure isn't volatile today, is it? It's just, just kind of sitting there. GameStop is not doing a whole lot of stuff right now. Uh, down 217, but it hasn't moved much. $5 swing up, down. That's it. Five bucks. That's all. There's not much going on here. Um, what's this here? Um, uh, uh, oh, oh, British shilling. I, I, I'm doing a uh, veganary. I'm doing veganary. I've given something else, but I just don't know what it is. Uh, Bobby, uh, that's a good point. Have you been in the USA nine weeks now, Uncle Bruce? Uh, also, that same amount of time the stocks have been dipping. Come home, sir. Uh, Jennifer Smith, I trust nobody, but weirdly, I trust Uncle B. Um, uh, Austin, I bent over to pick up a pen and about threw it. I about threw my back out. I'm 35. This sucks. <laughs> uh, your best days in the NFL are over, obviously, <clears throat> or our NBA or whatever you're playing here. Your best days are over. Yeah, just like top-end athletes, you hit 35, and some of you lose it. What can I say? Uh, Michael's laughing. Joe, uh, Cheddar Stacks, by, by how much exactly? Asking for a friend. I'm just, just asking, asking for a friend. Oh, boy. Oh, we're down to three minutes. Three minutes left to go. Uh, we have 241 thumbs up. Thank you all for that. The poll question now has 291 respondents. 291 respondents. 52% of you say... Uncle Bruce is a great guy, but I believe him, but I don't trust him. 52%. Uh, uh, 48% say, I trust him, but I don't believe him. Uh, it, it's a nail-biter coming down here to the end here. 291 votes as this uh, this uh, this poll question is really tearing up the channel. Uh, half of you here, half of you there. It's crazy. A 90-degree angle says, Bobby, British, I'm 35 next year, but I never found it, let alone lost it. Um, Bobby, nee, that's what I'm saying. Uh, there you go. Rocket Lab up 58 cents, SoFi down 9, GameStop down 224, Minoport down 134, ME down 29, Spire down 19 and a half, ATIP down 7 and a half, Smart Rent up a dime, and Sixterra up 18 cents. Oh my gosh. What is happening here? Um, Dow is up 50. Uh, will it hold? We're down to two minutes. Will it hold? Uh, Apple up 30 cents, Microsoft up 290. Goldman Sachs down 12, 62 to 390, 43. Uh, Cisco down 28 cents. Uh, yeah, you know, Andy, that's what I said, Jennifer. I trust him, but I don't believe him. Uh, Joshua, um, how come you didn't play in the NBA, Uncle Bruce? <laughs> yeah, four foot eight. Why didn't you play in the NBA? Uh, Cheddar, enough to make you some money. Frumbler, I trust no one else. Uh, there you go. We're down to the last two minutes, maybe even the last minute now. Coming in here, we're up 56 on the Dow. Can it hold it? Uh, we're up 14 on S&P. We're up 30 on NASDAQ. It looks like we're going to hold it. Uh, it looks like it, uh, but I, I don't know. Uh, we're going to see what happens here. Uh, oh, man, 54-point uh, gain on the Dow. There you have it. Oh, my, 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 my. Fun, fun, fun. What can I say? Uh, mostly red on our stocks with a, with green on the big three markets. Uh, so you, you tell me how this is working. You know what? Uh, Michael says, uh, "I believe that you believe what you believe, but I, I, but do I trust your belief?" There, see, there. Mm, uh, mm, okay. Whew, uh, deep, heavy thoughts. Uh, one minute to go. Larry Titus, hopefully, will give us the bells here in a few moments. Uh, Fifty-one point gain on the Dow. We're holding it. Um, I'm just gonna go back to sleep now. Says Michael. Um, Austin, I used to be a decent athlete. Now my tummy gets bigger and my hairline is receding. Gods, I trust you. Not sure I'd buy a used car from you, though. Anti uh, Gaiotti, that market not titillating and action-packed enough for you. Me neither. Larry, uh, it's official, Bruce. 
I'm ringing the bells. Uh, this game is over. This day is done. Uh, we're finito. The bells are ringing, and the market is finished, and we're done, and there's no more suffering with the Dow. It's only up 23 points at last report. It was falling, and then I see it at 18 now. Did it close in the green or did it close in the red? It was up 80 points three minutes ago. Uh, where is it now? 23.56. These last uh, updates are coming through here on these uh, on these updates, 40 points now, where it's up about 40. Uh, oh my gosh, we had some swing trading going on here. I don't know. Um, British selling Gonzo, he'd probably sell you his Tesla. Larry, in bells we trust. Uh, thank you, Larry from DQ. Coyote, uh, nope, not lately. Uh, Alberto, thanks, Larry. Jennifer, uh, she's smiling. Auntie, I'm not upset about today. I made over $900. Bobby, the only green I have is RCL puts. That's the only thing I'm making money on. Well, what can I say? 39-point gain on the Dow, eight, a 13-point gain on S&P, a 35-point gain on NASDAQ. That seems to be where we seem to be. If we seem to be anywhere, that's where we seem to be right now, uh, seemingly. Um, I don't know. Um, Auntie Jennifer, that's exactly a compliment <clears throat> to Uncle Bruce. That's really a compliment to Uncle Bruce. I'd rather be trusted than believed. If someone trusts you, that's rare. Anyone can lie. There you go. Uh, and here we are on the poll question. Oh, my gosh, it's tightening up again. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Uh, 297 votes are in now. Um, we have 51% saying, I believe him, but I don't trust him. 49% say, I trust him, but I don't believe him. Uh, it is so close. Uh, 51 to 49 uh, at this moment in time. What an incredible uh, thing we got going here. Make sure to hit that uh, like button if you can for me and answer that poll question if you can. Hel help us out here. We need some direction. Uh, I just uh, Andy is saying... Uh, or should I say everybody lies? Michael, uh, everyone poops too. Uh, Jennifer, so true. Auntie, geez. Uh, uh, all I know is what Colin Mockery once said. Um, uh, a food turns into poo. Uh, that, that, that's what Colin Mockery said, and I believe him, and I trust him, uh, because he and I have as little hair as the other. Uh, we're just as bald as the other guy. So uh, Colin Mockery, can't, can't go wrong going with Colin Mockery on that one. Um um, a suburban propane is my only green. I'm only in it for the 9% dividend, laugh out loud. Anti, uh, ew, well, food turns into poo. It does. Um, I don't know. I, I don't, I'm not making this stuff up. I'm just quoting Colin Mockery from Whose Line Is It Anyway? I mean, if you can't trust that, I don't know what you can trust. Uh, uh, NASDAQ 3, NASDAQ 3 green closes in a row. Get ready. Uh, Michael, 302, regardless of spelling. Um, and uh, Anti, ew, uh, Austin. Uh, Michael, a uh, true story. I got a text from my younger bro this morning that he farted and almost pooped his pants, and he thought of me. Why me? What? What? Um, Splare, how? Have a good night, y'all. Splare, I think you're leaving just in time. Auntie, I trust you, but I don't believe you. Uh, Lobo, for me, I totally believe Uncle Bruce when it comes to stocks. When it comes to his political views, I clearly do not trust him. I love you, Uncle B. Thank you, uh, Lobo. Joe, and 250, I, I'm, I'm thumbs up number 250. I was only waiting for the poll results before making a decision. Um, Michael, uh, Austin, uh, laughing out loud. Uh, where are we now in this poll? Uh, 304 people have answered the poll question now. 51% say, I believe him, but I don't trust him. And 49% say, I trust him, but I don't believe him. So it's pretty close. 51-49. Uh, I don't know who has control of the Senate on this one, but it's close. We might have to work on that filibuster. I don't know. Um, I believe on Green Day. Laugh out loud. There you go. There, I believe on Green Day. There it is. 38-point gain on the Dow. Looks like that's our final number. 38-point gain on the Dow. 13 on S&P and 35 on NASDAQ. Uh, laugh out loud. Good point. Lobo Kent. Thanks. Uh, thank you again, Bruce. Off to the golf course. We'll see you at 5. Yes, I'll be on tonight, 8 o'clock Eastern time for Gold Bagel members only tonight. Prime time with Uncle Bruce. Join me tonight. It's the Q&A tonight show. P.S. Uncle Bruce on a trip to Lisbon from earnings. Watching you. I'm on a trip. To Lisbon because of the money I make from you. Thank you. That's good to hear. Uh, Alberto, buenas noches, Bagel Familia. Uh, bagel, uh, Cheddar, I'm, lo I'm loaded up. I'm honestly really funny starting to run out of powder. Um, a British shilling. There was an argument here about whether firefighters were being paid too much. So I took a poll and now they just fall through a hole in the floor. Uh, there you go. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Crazy times. What can I say? 51 to 49 percent on the thumbs up question on the poll question thank you everybody thumbs ups 252 now thank you guys 
for helping out the, with this channel's uh, poll question and the thumbs ups. Very appreciative of all of you being able to help out here. Uh, we do the best we can with what little we have. Hope you're having a good day today. I hope you have a good night. If you can join me tonight at 8 o'clock, that would be fabulous. 8 o'clock Eastern for Prime Time with Uncle Bruce. We'll answer whatever questions you can throw at us. See what's going on. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'm a firefighter. Falling through the hole is not fun. I can just imagine it's not a good time. Thank you, guys. Uh, have a great rest of your day. Stay healthy for me. Uh, come back tomorrow or tonight, and let's see if tomorrow we can uh, figure out some direction and make us some money. Um, how about that? Uh, what can I say, Michael? I finally bought some smart rent today. Lobo, I, it was a good day today. Uh, see you guys tonight. More, more learning to do with Uncle B. Austin, I'm buying more SoFi tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Michael, only 100, but I got some. Nice. Uh, Bobby Hubby, I'm a retired firefighter, and I was not overpaid. <laughs> yeah. Auntie, me too, Austin. Lots of it. Uh, Michael, see ya. All right, guys. We'll see you tonight, 8 o'clock Eastern time for prime time with Uncle Bruce. You guys have the rest of the, take the, take, uh, the, rest of the day off. Enjoy and be well, and we'll see you tomorrow also at 8.30 in the morning Eastern time. Bye for now, guys. We'll see you.